and uh, say welcome to our Northampton community television audience. Uh, this is Rick Haggerty with Kicking It for Peace, Culture, and Education, airing each Sunday morning, 8 to 10 a.m. on Valley Free Radio 103.3. FM replaying uh, Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. And I want to say uh, also welcome to our guest, uh, Cassandra Holden, Holden, uh, Cassandra Holden of Lot of All Productions. And uh, let me get your mic on here. And and uh, she's here to talk about uh, the Academy of Music at May 5th, 2 p.m. screening and panel discussion uh, with the director of Sam Bean. The inspiring story of the father of African American cinema, and um, so I think uh, uh, this is like a really exciting thing. But I, like many people, might want to know a little bit about how a screening is organized. And why don't you uh, start off with uh, tell us about it? Sure. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> sure thing. Um, so, as many of you know, um, in the past couple of years, Laudable has been diversifying their programming. We've been bringing in musicians from all over the globe to the valley. Um, and this screening ties in with what we're doing, which is trying to create. Um, you know, a global consciousness, not only through music, but through engagement with the arts. Uh, Semben, uh, as Rick mentioned, was the father of African cinema, and his work really centered around sharing African narratives um, that were from an African perspective rather than the colonial perspective. Like, we've all seen those, you know, sad stories of, you know, famine and starving children and disorder, And um, what he was trying to share and capture were these other stories, these grassroots stories, these stories of, um, you know, showing the the more positive side of what's happening, but also, you know, stories told by the people from their own perspective rather than from the outside looking in. Yeah, and uh, as I mentioned, you know, in the... uh uh, middle school where I teach is a uh, section on slavery currently and talking about, you know, tri- triangular uh, slave trade. You know, the guns uh, came out to the African tribes. Uh, they, uh, you know, chained people up and sent, you know, shipped them out on the boats. And then, uh, you know, there were wars and which tribe is going to be more powerful and, you know, and, and all that. So it, it right, had and a that's rough actually, start, you know. Yeah, yeah, and that's one of the, like, that narrative is one that we hear a lot. And, um, you know, that's a narrative of uh, power and commerce that doesn't really reflect the complexity of everyday people's lives. And um, one of the th- reasons this screening is really important is that, um you know, about 50% of the population on the continent is under the age of 25, which means we have this incredibly powerful rising generation that is engaging with social change, um, wanting to create, you know, different different lives for themselves, different narratives. And um, this, this panel discussion that's uh, happening in conjunction with the film is really about that. So we have leaders from um, Tostan and um, Oxfam, uh, along with uh, Samba Gadijo, who's the uh, the uh, filmmaker, um, talking about how narratives shape the way people see themselves and the way those narratives shape the futures that people create for themselves. That's outstanding. And uh, I want to remind folks that they can get out to the uh, Academy of Music on May 5th, and uh, that's at 2 p.m., and let's see now, tickets, they can go to an information, laudable.productions, L-A-U-D-A-B-L-E. Is that correct? Yep, it's laudable.productions yeah. for more information. And then the tickets are on the Academy of Music website. That's a rather long URL to rattle off at the moment, but okay. if you go to the Academy, Academy site, you can Music. click on the event, and then you can buy tickets there. Okay, so proceeds are going to be split between the mission-based organizations Create, uh, Tosten and Sam Bean. Now let's talk about uh, Tosten because uh, I read about that, mm-hmm. and that's uh, that's a particular movement. Is that correct? Yeah. So yeah. Um, Tosten. Uh, Tosten. Tosten. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, was founded by Molly Melching about thirty years ago in West Africa, and um, what is different about the work that she and her organization have been doing is that it's really a grassroots model. They come into communities, um, they have a three-year human rights curriculum that they share with people in the villages, and then the villages, the villagers determine what happens next. Like if they want to do an economic empowerment program, often, you know, in this process they will 
um, end child marriage, they will end female genital cutting, but they're the ones really driving the change in their communities as they're learning about the value of everyone's life in their community. And so I see that um, more than uh, there are more than 8,000 uh, Tostan uh, partner communities um, and, uh, you know, taking the stand, that's pretty huge. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's very, very powerful. And actually, just a couple of days ago, um, the organization was recognized by Melinda Gates. She's actually making a substantial investment in the organization so they can scale to another 2,000 communities in the coming year. So that's 8,000 oh, wow. communities in 30 years and another 2,000 in the coming year. <clears throat> and I think I should uh, maybe read this uh what you sent me, a, a participant's a statement, quote, our way of thinking has undergone changes since the arrival of Tostan, where Tostan is active. A new consciousness emerges, a junction of energies and hearts in unison. And that's what seems to be, you know, uh, uh, needed, you know, because there's been just so much uh, you know, so many problems, so many issues with mm-hmm. succeeding as societies and cultures, mm-hmm. given this, uh, you know, uh, rampant, uh, uh, you know, warring and, um, um, you know, the, I mean, basically the money has gone all to the top. Any money that the governments right. have had, e- extreme corruption, and the mm-hmm. people have been left out. You know, yeah, and, I mean, and refugeed in a lot of ways, people right. moving constantly. And what's which, really different yeah. about what Tostan and Create, who is one of our other partners um, in this film, are doing is you know really working with communities to develop solutions rather than working from the sort of government le- level down and legislating. It's working with people on the ground to create the solutions in their communities and then having that bubble up. So it's you know it, it's a way of circumventing. Corruption, but it's also, you know, acknowledging the the intelligence, the wisdom, and the creativity of community members to design solutions that really fit for their communities. Oh, fantastic! All right, now this isn't the first time uh, this has been shown. That's I right. I understand that uh, last year at about this time, um, ten thousand people in thirty-eight African nations viewed mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Right. right. So that's really exciting. Right. I yeah. mean, the, the film has been um, incredibly powerful. Um, you know, if, I think we are very privileged to be able to show this in this area and to have this discussion about about these issues. Um, and we're really hoping that the community will engage with that as well. Um, we have the panel discussion before the film, followed by the screening. And then afterward, there's sort of an informal gathering in the parlor at the Academy of Music. Um, so that um, audience members will be able to talk with Samba, the filmmaker, um, as well as our panelists. So if they have, you know, if they have follow-up questions after seeing the film, um, they can engage with that. And Samba says, some say we're made of flesh and blood. I believe we're made of stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really... Uh, it's powerful. That's so powerful. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I mean, if you think about it, our you know, our our cultural narratives shape what we think we are capable of. Like if you believe that women are capable of only these things or brown people are only capable of these things or poor people are only capable of these things, then you have a very narrow view of what's possible for yourself. And um, I think his film really challenges us to think about all of the possibilities. Absolutely, that anything uh, anything is possible. Now let's go on to uh, create uh, so create, can you talk a little bit about yeah. create since they're the other organization? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, actually, and right. there's, uh, there's, so but the, the event is uh, sponsored by Toast On and by Create. And I forgot to mention our other panelist, uh, Ruby Maddox, um, who's with Leaders of the Free World um, in Springfield, which is, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, which sure. is an incredible yeah. program um, bringing young African-American men um, over to Africa to sort of learn about their history and their presence in the world and, you know, give them some, you know, really like feed this new generation of leaders by giving them a broader global context for understanding who they are. Like you were earlier mentioning, you know, the the slavery narrative. And I think that, you know, having a broader context for that and understanding, you know, in a modern sense, other stories about Africa and what it means to be from Africa rather than, you know, simply a slavery narrative rooted in, you know, commerce that happened generations ago, you know, is really important. 
Absolutely. And now, um, she, and then create. You also asked. Me oh about yeah, right. Create. Okay, yeah. Okay, go for it. All right. Well, I was going to say one thing about uh, Ruby is that uh, she's uh, in th- that uh, she's in Springfield, right? Yeah, because she's of the local. leaders of the free world. That's based right here in That's the valley. That's based right here. Yeah, which is really huge. Yeah, but her, you know, her work, you know, dovetails with this perfectly, and that it's really about, you know, having a global understanding, and you know. Re- like resonating with one's place in that, that, you know, that we all have the power to have an impact that's broader than we imagine. Outstanding. All right. So create. So okay. create. Yeah. Yes. So create is another organization um, doing uh, grassroots development work in West Africa. Um, they do a lot of work around um, water, infrastructure, power, things like this. So, you know, bringing these um, important ingredients to communities so that, you know, they can have access to these important, you know, these things. Oh, yeah. Well, as I go, going back to middle school, the, a long walk to water was right. the story, you know, of uh, just that, you know, wells showing up after ages of, you know, women just spending and children, you know, spending their entire days, you know, going out and uh, retrieving water. Uh, right. Just to get and again, but the again, day, this is a little, know? this is yeah. different and that it's a community led effort, um, you know there's a fair amount of development that has happened where someone goes in and says, well, you know, you need this well here, or, you know, you need this electrical infrastructure. And then, you know, once the NGO goes away, it, you know, it, it isn't sustained because it wasn't actually something that the community wanted and was invested in. Like it's a, you know, so create is, is generating these customized solutions, you know, working with communities. Outstanding. Yeah. All right. So, uh, again, uh, if you just tuned in, we're speaking with uh, Cassandra Holden of Laudable Productions. And uh, she's um, they're putting together the screening of Sam Bean, the inspiring story of the father of African-American cinema. And that's taking place uh, at the Academy of Music right here in Northampton on May 5th at 2 p.m. And uh, the panel discussion and, uh, uh, you know, time with uh, the director... Uh, Samba, um, and how does he pronounce his uh, last name? Gadijo. Gadijo. Um, so that's, uh, and folks can go to the Academy of Music website uh, for more information and for tickets. Now, this um, film was quite well received. I see the New York Magazine saying, uh, quote, endlessly fascinating, enormously moving, and uh, official selections of Sundance. Uh, and other uh, Cannes Film Festival and another, I can't read that quite, uh, Telly Root Film Festival. So it's being uh, very well received. And um, uh, and you guys must be like really excited we're, to be doing this. You yeah, know? We're, yeah, we're thrilled to do this and um, feel very lucky to be able to make a local connection with, uh, with Tostan and the other, the other partners in this event. Um, Again, like, you know, we've been programming more and more music from around the world in the past couple of years. And um, we have an audience that's very excited to, you know, learn more and engage with that. Um, So this is the the screening is a little bit more uh, academic, perhaps, and that it's, um, you know, like you can go to a music event and have a certain kind of appreciation for what, you know, people in a particular region of the world are doing but this is really you know meant to make you think and consider um your you know one's role in a more nuanced way absolutely all right so we're going to take a uh, short break uh give ourselves a a moment to uh catch our breath and uh i want to let folks know uh that again uh this is wxoj 103.3 fm northampton and you're listening to uh, Kicking It for Peace, Culture, and Education and viewing it uh, right now, actually, on NCTV, uh, airing each Sunday morning from 8 to 10 a.m. and replaying Tuesday nights, uh, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And we're going to go to uh, some local music. Uh, one of my uh, uh, favorite uh, guests uh, and that is uh, Jesse French. Uh, Jesse's actually out on the West Coast right now, but uh, he made a lot of music when he was out here in the Valley. And uh, I've lost touch with him. Who knows? Maybe he's back. But, uh, but I, like, uh, I like his stuff. And I'm going to put on uh, one of my favorites, uh, Domestic Policy. So we're going to listen to Jesse and uh, a local musician. And we will be uh, right back with more. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Check this out.
that we don't sleep at night We make calculated attacks on each other But all this occurs out of sight All the days spent in hiding Straight face and silent Sessions, appeasements, aggressions, put proposals of union on fire. But it's stalemate, attrition, the supply of munitions. We're both getting weaker each day. The trenches are dug and the banners are hung. This war isn't going. Jesse French. I uh, love that music. Uh, let me pause that right there. So uh, welcome back, folks. And uh, we're here with Cassandra Holden. And uh, let's continue the conversation. And so we're going to move over to the next segment. And that is about uh, NGOs. Um, and we've got two of them. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about that uh, relationship and how that uh, came about. Yeah, so what's exciting about this partnership is that both Toast On and Create are coming together um, to be part of this screening, but they also work together in, in West Africa, and um, that that work is significant in that you know, often um, NGOs have the reputation for being rather siloed, that they're each very focused on their individual work, and you know, these two are... Uh, perhaps not new, uh, unique, but on the cutting edge and that they're partnering together to create uh, grassroots change in, in West Africa. Um, I wanted to mention also that um, this film um, has, has deep local roots. Um, for the, many of you may or may not know that um, Usman Semben's son actually studied at um, the International Language Institute, that's ILI in Northampton really cool. for a time. Yeah, yeah which yeah. is great. And then um, Samba is a professor at Mount Holyoke in international studies. So he's uh, been a stalwart in the Valley, um, collaborated with um, Elise Young over at Westfield State on the Africa Alive project. You know, he's been very much engaged in um, celebrating um, the vibrancy of Africa locally. Wow, incredible. Now, um, it's, uh, uh, it's been 10 years uh, since this filmmaker has passed, right? So it's not the o- filmmaker since since Usman Semben has passed. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah, uh, obviously the object of the uh, 
of the of films. The, yes, the yeah. subject of the yeah, films. Yeah, the subject of the films. Um, so it's a uh, it's really timely. Yeah, I yeah. think that um, this is really a moment too, as um, you know, in this country we're experiencing more and more division um, that's often driven by you know media and culture. And again, this is the place where stories really play a role in how we see ourselves and how we envision what's possible. You know, so stories of you know, uniting communities and working together in coalitions to build positive social change are really important. Um, you know, as we've experienced in the past election cycle, there's so much information right, that's right. Uh, untrue and driving us, you know, to be separate, that having these counter narratives, I think, is critical to understanding that we're all in this together. Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, it's ever so more evident that uh, the voice of the people, you know, doesn't you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, in the view of so many, you know, that the right, people are overlooked on so many. You know, I mean, on the African continent, it's so graphically true and so tragically true for so long, but it's really right here. But it's, you know, it's, it's true here. It's no yeah. less true in this country. Yeah. And that, you know, as citizens, we have a responsibility to share those other stories that we don't, we don't have to be defined by those external narratives, that we can create our own stories and share them and be out in the community in a very visible and vocal way yeah and it, it's funny we just had we had uh, Francis Crow in here oh, recently you her. know given uh, yeah. you know her right it was her know, 100th birthday yeah it was her 100th birthday celebration and you know and she's been uh, you know a big part of uh, and the, we had the, know, right, all the, the activism in the valley you know and yeah right and I mean she's been at this for such a long time and it's wonderful like she's really become a beacon in the community for that um, and you know like it's it's we should all be so lucky like that like yeah. we can all yeah. hold that place really i mean not yeah. everyone is cut out to be an activist but um you know we can all care deeply and be effective in our work sure absolutely um so we've got uh uh, you get so many uh, people there, and we want to encourage people to to get out and get tickets and check this out. And again, they can go to the Academy of Music uh, website and uh, find out more about it. And the event is at the Academy of Music on May fifth at two p.m. Uh, and it's pronounced uh, sem- semben. semben semben. So semben, the inspiring story of the father of African American cinema, and it's been uh, widely. Uh, a, uh, you know, acknowledged uh, for its greatness and uh, panel members um, again, uh, Samba uh, uh, get get Gajigo. I say that correctly. Mm-hmm. Okay, a uh, Senegalese-born uh, Mount Holyoke College uh, professor and longtime resident of South Hadley. And uh, let's see, could you pronounce the next one? I'm sorry, Math- Mathani. Mm-hmm. Mathani M- Maru. I Murray, get that. yeah. Uh, Murray. Yeah, okay, sure. International Director of the International Programs of Oxfam, and she has a passion for social justice issues, and she was witnessing poverty and and injustice as a young activist growing up in in Kenya. So, uh, and Ruby Maddox, of course. Ruby Maddox, yeah. Leaders Leaders of Leaders of the Free World. All right, so a great uh, a great panel. It's it's a local and international partnership, like really making that connection that we can have. You know, we here in the valley can have a broader impact. Sure. Out in the world. Sure. Okay. So um, let's see. So we've covered a lot, um, and I just want to ask, um, you know, how you'd like to uh, uh, conclude, how you'd like to close it out, and what it, maybe you know what it means to you, really, because sure. this is uh, you know direction that you're. You know, Laudable Productions has been moving in. and Yeah, yeah um, as that. I mentioned earlier, you know, this event is perhaps a little more cerebral than um, our music events where we encourage you to come and dance and, you know, relate in a different sort of way. Um, this is really encouraging people to, um, to think and engage with narratives. And uh, I guess my hope would be to deconstruct some of the, the stories that we carry with us that hold us back. Um, and look at writing those new narratives for ourselves and, you know, for communities in the world to create the world that we want, to create positive change and, you know, a, a playing field that's level for everybody. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's critical, to, critical time for all of us. And, you know, on the heels of like another, um, you know, uh, uh, attack on a, like a Jewish, uh, you know, synagogue, which, you know, uh, Lizzie yeah. and I were talking about last night, like this is just, you know, become so kind of, 
you know, uh, the white supremacists have become so emboldened. You right. know, it's just, you know, fear and hatred and, and death and destruction and I seems to be like to, the rule now. You know, Yeah, I think yeah. we have to shift out of our complacency. Like there are more of us than there are of them. But the more of us that sit on the couch and don't do anything, the more we give them power. And it's important for us to really take our place in, you know, in making a just world rather than making a world where these kinds of attacks happen and where, you know, inequity persists. Absolutely. Yeah, so we have to get involved now. You know, we're really being called to action. And, <laughs> we are. And I was, I was, uh, you know, is is uh, I was thinking about um, my son in the North End going out to walk his dog one night with his girlfriend and seeing all these white supremacist posters all over the place. And so they spent like the better part of the dog walking, like ripping them down, them down. You know, and then they're being interviewed. They were like, you know, these people have, you know, free speech rights to put these up. And he said, yeah, we have free speech rights to take, take them, them down. down. You know, they, they, shopping bags full of like these awful posters. But then, you know, the interesting thing was uh, uh, then people came together and rallied as a community and just came out in the North End and said, you know, uh, I'm sorry, this is in East Boston. Um, in, he works in the North End. But in East Boston, you know, we are a community I mean mm -hmm. that was the message that was the takakeaway that you know we are strong we're a community and we're not going to tolerate this and you know, we're going to have this here this is our home you know so uh, yeah so. and it's actions like that that you know go a long way to making everybody feel comfortable and welcome um, you know and again resisting those forces that tear us apart because you know that ultimate separation and segregation of people is not where we're going. Absolutely. And we, you know, we live in a valley that is really active and there's so many opportunities um, and we're not going to get to everything, obviously, but uh, this is one that we, you know, want to encourage folks to get out to. Well, thank you. Yeah. And again, Academy of Music, uh, you can go to the Academy of Music website and find out more about it. Uh, but it's taking place. Yeah, go ahead. We oh, gonna, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, sure. going to mention that, um, that uh, tickets are available online. They're also available at the door the day of the show, Okay, um, which is great. Um, and, you know, if there are uh, teachers, educators, whatever, um, folks who are interested in packs of students, packs of tickets for their students, um, by all means, um, reach out to us because we do have um, tickets available for those kinds of educational cohorts. That's fantastic. And again, the event is on uh, May 5th at 2 p.m. And uh, what day is that, by the way? It's a just... Sunday. Sunday at oh, 2 p.m. perfect. So, yeah. yeah, so people can get out there and, you know, so I can interrupt. Uh, right. It's not, you don't you have know, to give up your whole day. This is yeah. just a couple of hours to come and really be moved by something. Fantastic. All right. So um, we're down to like the last minute. <laughs> so, uh, um, so, so what's next for Laudable? What oh, are you guys going to do after this? Or what are you involved in? Uh, yeah, what's, tons what's, of stuff, actually. Yeah. Uh, so on the 16th, May 16th, over at New City Brewery, uh, we have Los Mirlos coming in. They're this incredible Amazonian Kumba uh, psychedelic uh, <laughs> band that'll just blow your mind. Um, our next Collider, which has a Haitian theme, um, is May 24th. So those are the ones coming up in the next month. Um, but we're doing this series called um, The Planetary Party over at New City Brewery. So once a month, we have a different group representing a different, I hate to use the term world music, but it, you know, music from a different place in the world each month that we hope people will come out to. Wow, so that's, uh, that's monthly. That's monthly, right. And then our colliders happen more or less quarterly. So we're really bringing a lot of international music to the Valley. Again, it's part of this idea of, you know, helping, helping people see their place in the world and creating this global consciousness that, you know, people can, you know, think outside their tiny bubble and have a bigger yeah. worldview. Yeah, totally. And that's New City Brewery, 180 Pleasant Street, uh, number 12 in the rear, uh, East Hampton, Mass, 529-2000. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. Uh, I really appreciate having you and uh, hope you'll come back. Absolutely. And I'm glad you uh, looked me up and you yeah, know, uh, this was could, great. Uh, yeah, talk about this. And uh, so, uh, and again, I want to say uh, thank you to our Northampton Community Television audience for being on board. And uh, we look forward to bringing you more uh, quality programming. And uh, we love our relationship with. Uh, Al Williams and uh, Dave and the crew there at NCTV. So we're going to sign off with NCTV. Thank you.